Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So today I'm going to paint the Sugar Skull Girl. And uh, quite a few of you asked if I was going to paint her and I didn't know. I'm trying to get my lighting a little better. Um, and I didn't know. So then I thought, okay, well, let's do it. Now, uh, I will link this down below and at the end of the video, if you did not see me draw this and you want to, um, otherwise all I did was I threw on some antique white, but of course you can use white, whatever color you want. And, um, I took my nail polish off and filed them. So they're not as long. I might have to cut them a little bit more. I don't know, but I'm going to be painting them today. So I just wanted them to breathe. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. I'm first gonna start with around the eyes, I think, and I'm gonna use some bright pink from Folk Art, which is my favorite craft paint. Eh. Okay, I'm uh, gonna do that. I got a lot of noises today. Okay, I've been watching too much Trixie and Katya. Okay, anybody know who that is? Okay, so I'm gonna wet my brush a little bit. Don't need it soaking wet, but I want them bristles. Otherwise they're hard and sometimes hard is fantastic. And sometimes it's not. So you can see that I just painted over um, the drawing that I did. That's why for me using a permanent marker, you know, which it doesn't matter, but you use whatever you want to use. And I don't do it either. Well, let me see what I got. I just need something. I just need something to paint with. It's not like I don't have, I have favorites. That's the problem. Let's wet you for a minute. I have favorites. Don't we all have favorite brushes? Or is it me? It might be me. It's gonna be me. I don't even know if that's how it goes. Okay. And I'll worry about doing that after um, lining it, you know, when everything was done. We're just going to play. And I'm just going to use colors that I like. Which, you know, why not? As you guys, well, those of you who have been watching me, I've been cleaning up my downstairs of a lot of like older supplies and stuff like that, that are still good. Um, so I have like my golden fluid acrylics and just, you know, some old stuff. All right, I'm gonna go in one more layer here. A little thicker. So you'll be seeing me using all kinds of different paints and stuff that I haven't been using. Or maybe you remember when I used it when I was downstairs and now I'm up here. So I wish I was, I wish I was able to go back downstairs, my art room, but I don't see that happening. No matter how much weight I lose. We'll see. Just because the steps and my knees are so Bad and my hips and it's hard to get up and down them steps so you know okay so you can see that's all I'm gonna do for that and I think hmm can't decide whether I want to do that pink I'm gonna just do this pink because I love pink and purple I was thinking about doing a dark, uh, like a darker girl, you know what I mean? With darker colors, more uh, that way, but change my mind. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Go around that little circle, cause I'm gonna do that a different color, but I think I'll do the same treatment um, on these as well. Just going in. Hope you guys are having a good day. It's very windy here, but all of a sudden it's supposed to go up to like something ridiculous. Um, 
maybe I'll do her lips too pink. Just try to keep it like 75 or something on Thursday. And then it's going to go down back down in the 60s and 50s. I don't know. My body's like, girl, I can't take anymore. And there's nothing I can do. And I'm okay if it's not humid, but like where I live, I'm in uh, New Jersey, South Jersey. It seems like it's always humid. And I don't enjoy the humidity. Okay, so I have that. I'm going to rinse my brush real quick to get that pink out. And... I th hmm. Maybe I'll do... Black around. How am I going to do that though? I'm just going in. Now what I can do is not do an eyeball and do it like an eyelid, but I, I'm just going to go like this because if her eye was shut, do you know what I mean? It would be her whole eye would be black, but Maybe what I'll do. Do her eyelid. I'm going to do another cape. I can't see well today either. Her migraines. Don't you love them? And I just refuse. I just don't want to go lay down. <laughs> but I'm going to have to probably. Um. I'm going to do the nose black too. Mm -hmm. She'll be end up being an odd girl uh, sugar skull, which I am completely fine with because I just feel like playing today and coloring and, you know, sometimes you just can't get too hung up on things. We'll go like that. And then I think I put this in here, but I need, maybe I'll use this one. Let's see one more time, dry it off and just take a little bit of black on the point. And kind of run it under there. Yeah. When it goes dry like that, it means you need more paint. If you're like me and you're like, ah, you don't go in for your paint, you say, oh, it'll just finish. And then it never does. So get more paint when it starts dry again. Okay. Oh, my dog. He's just going to town under there. Enjoying a rawhide and loving life. Okay. Oh, I know. I'm concentrating on this and I'm like, why are you just, why, why, why? Okay. That will be for that. And then the eyes. You can use markers too. Maybe I'll use, let's see what I got sitting here. If I can get a mo marker. What the heck happened? It looks like the cats were in here trying to destroy a skull. <laughs> I don't know what the heck. What the heck? I don't know what these cats are doing. What the heck is that? All right. So I'm going to take this blue marker and this is a Tombow. Uh, I think it's watercolor. I don't think it's, um, permanent but I'm okay with that because I'm not gonna be doing anything other than this I'm gonna add a little bit of white in the middle let's see Uh, 
I'm just going to bring it up there just to cover some of that. See what happens? And then I put my hand in it. Okay. All righty. Then I'm going to take a little bit of white. And this is just titanium white that I'm going to shake real good because I have not touched these in a minute. And uh, I'm going to open it up. Give it a little. I just want like the littlest fluffiness, a little bit. I'm going to dot it like that. I'm going to dot it like that. And then I'm going to wipe it off and not wet it, but I'm just going to kind of, now you can use chalk. You can use, um, you see a little goes a long way. You can use whatever you want. I just want the dark around it. And of course you can just paint it this color, but this is just the way my brain works. And I'm okay with it. You know what I mean? What happens? I'm going to take some orange. This is vat orange. <laughs> Instead of that orange. No, it's that. I don't know why they call it that, but it's not because of what I said. Uh, I just make myself laugh. Okay. This is what happens when you're messy. I always either end up just cutting her out or whatever. I don't worry too much about it. I'm going to take the orange, that orange, <laughs> oh, medication. Oh, I'm going to need a smaller one, but I'm just going to tap this in. And then I'll, the next layer of this, then I will um, make it more form fitting, which I'm not into the form fitting today. Clothes wise. Okay. Now you see. Now, like this is like I don't want to waste this. So I'm just gonna take it over here to my page here. My, you know, my page when uh I have extra paint because sometimes I most of the time I hate uh oh that fat yellow is some good stuff. It sticks. Okay. Um sometimes I remember to wipe it off when I'm recording for the most part. I don't because, um, again, I'm just putting another layer, but I'm going to take a marker and trace over this later. So I'll make it more orange and more structured, I guess, instead of doing it now. Spyro, just chew your bill. You don't know what the heck you have to do there. Now, do I want, maybe I want yellow. Do I have yellow in here? Oh, gold, that doesn't do anything for me. Turquoise. Oh, let's do teal. Okay. I'm gonna do teal, I'm gonna shake it up, shake it up. You're going to hear Emily laughing because she has her ferrets running in her room. I do have to take a um, picture of them and my cats, like a video. Oh, God, Kel, this is not even what a circle is. What are you even doing? She's She did it at home by herself, and she was on a lot of medication like me. And it's a little shaky, but that's okay because life's shaky. Yep, my dog agrees. Yeah, and I want it to be up here too. So I'm just going to do like that a little. Because God forbid I couldn't do it down there like that, could I? Have, to make it look better, right? Okay, so we're on a, you guys are always emailing me, asking me for more shows that we're watching. And we're watching... What are we watching? It's on Amazon. I got to look it up. I want to say forgiven, but I don't know if that's it, but it's good. It's only six seasons and it's a British show about a lawyer 
which I find it it's so funny because we, we just happened to find it, but um, it does kind of go after the whole Stephen Avery thing, making a murderer, if you've seen that, where a guy's in jail and he confesses to something that he didn't do. Do a little bit around here. And uh, so he gets arrested. And she's the she's a lawyer who gets people out of jail and helps, you know, helps them. And it's only six episodes, but it's good. It is good. And that's what we're watching. I just got to find the right name. I want to say forgiven, but that doesn't... Forbidden. It's forbidden. That's what it is. Forbidden. So if you're interested, check it out. Watch the trailer. See if you like it. We liked it. Matter of fact, we sat last night and watched three of them. Like later than usual, just because it was so good. And it really is. It really is good. So I highly recommend it. Can I get any of this off? Or am I going to have to paint? I'll have to paint and fix it. Oh, well, that's a life. Okay, so I'm going to take... I want green now. God only really knows where my black marker is. My good black marker. But I'll be using my crappy black marker. It's not crappy. It just it isn't permanent. So, such is life. I don't know if you can hear Emily's things she's listening to. The stitches. Which doesn't have to be perfect because, um, of course, like, you know, you're human. And if this was real and had to stitch it, unless you're absolutely, you know, non a non-shaky person who doesn't drink coffee or anything. You know. Okay. All right. I mean, really, that's all. I'm just going to turn it around so I don't smudge anything else. And I'm going to leave those alone. I'm going to hit this with the dryer. The heat gun. And you can really decorate these crazy. Like, I mean, not crazy, but like a lot of color and different kind of things. You know, really cool. Fun things to do. All right, so I'm going to go in and I like tracing things. I don't know why, but I do. And I don't like necessarily tracing them on point either, if, if I can help it. Now I might do some dots in these flowers. Matter of fact, I probably will with some yellow or something. Now this is a kind of pen. This is the uh, Rollerball from Ink, I guess, R2. And I'm going to tell you, I got it at like the Staples or Walmart or somewhere. And um, I like it. And it writes over the acrylic and everything. I never have any uh, problems with it. Um, but like I said, I don't think it's permanent. I will test it though, but I don't think it is. Well, who knows with me? I know I have a couple that are permanent, but if you ask me where they were, I'm going to tell you, I don't know. I probably would have to clean my desk up and then, you know, all right. So I hope my hand's not completely in the way, but you see how I'm just kind of doing, I'm just kind of like going in and forming how I want it. And if it has some of the orange on the outside, I'm okay with that. Like it doesn't bother me. Again, I'm not entering a contest or anything. I'm just playing. And that's what I always try to say to you guys is just play. Don't beat your, yourself up so bad. Jeez, a pizza. If, if I beat myself up as bad, uh, sometimes as I feel. Um, but there are times I beat myself up and it's like, why? Like I'll do a video, probably later look at this and be like, why would you even put something like that up? It's crap. But at the end of the day, 
I'm just having fun playing. It isn't about, you know what I mean? Like it isn't about me just doing crap work. I have issues. I'm on medication. I'm chronically ill. Am I going to sit down and just let life take me? You know, sometimes, yeah, but we don't have to. And you know, a lot of you still, a lot of you write me, but a lot of you, look at that. <laughs> Um, a lot of you write me and, and, you know, my heart goes out to you because I know exactly how you feel. Um, and I'm not saying that any of this is easy. I'll have to do a vlog um, because I get a lot of letters and, you know, it, it breaks my heart sometimes <laughs> because I just wish that you guys lived by me. I wish that, you know, I could help you out. Like you guys help me out. Like you guys watching my videos, you know, and sharing me and all that kind of stuff and leaving comments, it means a lot to me. It really does. So I just wish that I can do that for you. Even if listening to me ramble, you know, is helpful to you. That's why I do it. All right. So you can see that. Now I'm going to just trace this. And you can see I went on the outside. Oh, well, what are you going to do? I bet you that because I'm doing it upside down, these probably aren't even, even. But again, such is life. Make yours even if you want them even. You know what I mean? Then I'm going to go in and I'm going to just kind of make these a little smoother i'll tell you what else we watched is kidding k-i-d-d-i-n-g uh it's on hbo or showtime or something um and uh wait i can't with jim carrey so if you can watch that it's pretty good it's not always it's not necessarily a happy show I will say that I will say that okay so now what I can do here if you make a mistake and it bothers you like some do with mine I'll do that and then I'll just go in with pink and take it down there I guess we're going to find out if it's permanent one thing I do like to do though when I'm using marker no matter what marker it is I like to run my heat gun or your hair dryer, whatever, because sometimes what happens, even if you're using a um, permanent marker that you know is not going to run, sometimes it's like going into the fibers, it takes a minute to dry. Like sometimes longer than even like the fabric castells I love. One of the things I love about them is that when I use them, I can go ahead and make them watercolory. Um, before they dry, but you have to be fast. So, you know, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my little teeny brush right here. I'm going to wet it. I'm going to just pat it off a little bit, but it's wet. And let's see if this black, yeah, yeah, you can see it. It's giving me shadow. Yep. It runs. So it's not permanent, but I like it because it's a roller ball and yeah, and then I'll just do this and then I'll go in with pink after that dries and touch it up. Um, but I like it because it's a roller ball and it goes over the acrylic. So use it as a final. Do you know what I mean? Don't use it as part of your painting, but as a final that, you know, you don't have to go back in. I'm going to, because I just love outlining. And you can see this is like a nice milky um, marker. All right, enough playing with the marker because I could just sit here all day. But what I do, always this too. Take whatever marker you use, whatever it is, doesn't matter, whatever it is, or a pen, take it and wipe off those sides and then the top. Because what happens is if your paint's a little bit wet um, or gesso or whatever you're using, what it will do is it'll get on the tip of your pen. Well, no big deal, right? Until it dries. And then when it dries, and you like go to write or try to scrape it off, it does something where your pen is just ruined. So believe me, trust me, I've done this a lot. I've done it a lot. Okay, so I'm gonna take um, just a little bit of this pink on here and kind of just bring it down a little bit. Just 
just like that. And I can kind of bring it up through there, but you see it's going to make those stitches look um, kind of runny, but that's okay. It is what it is. I, you know, it is what it is. Okay. So now I have some medium yellow from Folk Art, which I long. And I'm going to take this. I'm going to dry it off so it doesn't get water everywhere. I'm going to take this. I'm going to dip it in. Okay. And then I'm going to go and put dots. And you can use a marker. You can use you know, if you're good with the brush and you can use it that way, please do use whatever way you want, but just to add, and you can do as many colors as you want to, you know, you do you come on. I just marked, knocked it all off. Oh, you know, what would be pretty too, which that means I'd have to get up right now, but you can also do these yellow and then get um, little rhinestones or like the sticker rhinestones and put them around. I mean, you really can uh, go crazy. You know what I mean? And really, really do something fun. I don't know. Maybe I want a little yellow in some of these just for the hell of it because I just enjoy doing this. Okay, because sometimes everybody needs a little extra color in their life, right? Boop, boop, boop. See how fun when you say boop? Boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop. There you go. And then we'll do up here. One, two, three, four, little, and then maybe just some little ones like this, just some. All right. Okay. All right. So I'm going to put this away, out of my way, out of my way, and hmm, what color should she have as her hair? I mean, obviously probably black, right? So I'm going to put some black as her hair. Just going to swoop it like this all the way down. Now you see this right here. That is um, what I mean by dry because there's, you could see the paint and then it starts not having the paint and it starts getting like that. And I'm going to take some out here and you can make her hair the whole, whatever. I'm going to add a little bit of water and what that will do is just kind of help me squish it around. And who doesn't like to squish the paint around? No, well, obviously 99% of you are going to have a better, <laughs> A better painting than me. It's all right. I'm okay. I just enjoy doing this. This is more of what my gig is. It's just like, look, do these kind of things, do it in your own style, and I have a blast. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, now we could, I mean, you could put red rose in her hair. run it off and then take it. You see how the water kind of solves that dry issue like this. Take it to the neck. And then you can go back of course and um, add more, you know, if you want it darker or whatever, I'm just going to kind of add some, like she got some layers or something, you know, 
And like I said, you can go over another coat, but I don't know if I will have the time. And then you could take your smaller brush too to fix like those little drier spots. Which I do enjoy the Glade flings or whatever they're called. Speaking of laundry, but anyway, nobody was really speaking of it, but me I'm thinking about all the laundry I gotta do. Okay. All right. All right, you see. You'll see. See? Cool. Now, I like the, you know, what's it called? Now, when I use all the paint out of the lid, I've probably shown you this a million times, what I like to do is shake it. Shake it or roll it. Okay, and then I take that and then I have some fresh black in there. So I can like go like this and take it closer if I want, even over. A little bit of water, Cal. Even over or close. And the same here. You know what I mean? And I've showed you guys a million times how to fix when you do an acrylic paint before it dries, how you can just clean your brush, get it, uh, you know, clean and then go back and kind of dab and it'll come off. I'm not going to dab today because it's not going to. Okay. And you see that is what we have now boy oh boy you can go and really have fun you can um if i finish let me show you i don't want to leave her just hanging on the neck so what i'll do is i will go in and i will just add just a little squirt and you know just take it down you can even fix your hair You know, if you have a little area or whatever, but you just take it down to the end, right? Cause it's kind of like her shoulders and whatnot. Now you can go in and put some jewelry or, you know, whatever you want. Do I have any areas left? Okay. Just dab it a little bit for now. Oh, my paint was still wet, but you, you get the idea. So that's that. And then what I would do is go in with, if I can find it, you can use white paint as well. So you don't have to always do this. Um, I'm going to dry it real quick down this area. Up here. Go into her eyes. Take your white gel pen or white um, paint, whatever you have. And you can just give her some highlights which i love highlights like the lights hidden you can um you know give her highlights wherever you want maybe on her lip here down here you know you could go and do it around here i mean whatever you want and uh like i said you can use paint or your gel pen I don't think my eyes are dry, but, and then when you're done, make sure you wipe it off. Do you see what came off? I don't know if you can see. And that's just from scraping up some paint there. So, I mean, it, it is a real thing. I'm not lying. I'm not lying. You can use your uh, China marker. You can use, you know, whatever you want. And then I'm going to, which I'll show you in a second. I'm just going to kind of do like that. And like I said, so, you know, you can do, oh gosh, you could do such cute things. You could put, the, you know what I'm saying? And if you want, then you can take a different color, maybe some gray or whatever pops of, you know what I mean? And you can highlight, you can do whatever you want. So that's just her. Um, and what I do when I'm done is, and one of the reasons I kind of, I kind of do the hair, but what I'll do is I'll kind of go in around the hair first and kind of cut it as you see and then I'll go in and I like to kind of just cut in a little bit of wave and start going like that 
and same here. And I don't have to keep my layers. I can do whatever I want, whatever you want. And like over here is bigger than here. So what I would do, um, and the reason I did it like that, so I can put a rose. So I can paint a rose. I can, um, you know, stick a rose on there, whatever I want. And, you know, that's it. Here, I'll just take it a little bit more. This is what I do. This is what my life is, is deciding what kind of hair to give. There we go. So you see. And then you could glue her onto a canvas or whatever you want. And like I said, you can um, definitely, oh, the jewelry down here would be great. I don't think, I mean, I can do like, you can make it a choker. You can, uh, I'm, I'm not even going to draw on there because I don't even know yet. But yeah, so that is it. So I hope you enjoyed uh, our little uh, coloring of the little girl. If you uh, are not familiar with drawing them or what have you, I will link her. A drawing at the end of the video and you can check it out um, if you guys do this please tag me in my art group all things creative links down below um, we're also doing a which I'll be doing a video uh, later but um, I just thought I lost power wait a minute we'll be doing a video later but using um, crayons just crayons so I'm very excited about that. We're doing that in the group. And like I said, everything's down below if you want to join. And as always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. And I love you guys so much. Thanks for hanging with me for this last half hour or so. And I look forward to seeing what you guys do. I love you so much. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>